Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and this right here is the Ultimaker 3. And it does dual extrusion. It's got two nozzles on it, it does some cool stuff. And in this video, I wanna show you one of the cool things that you can do with a dual extrusion printer. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. So like I said, this is the Ultimaker 3. Multi-extrusion, it's got two nozzles and it'll do two different materials. And I know that it comes with these two example rolls here. This is the silver PLA and this is the PVA. So one of the cool things it can do is use PVA supports, which dissolve away in the water, which leave a fantastic underside to whatever model you're printing. And that's for another video. But for this one, the first one, I really wanted to talk about something cool you can do with a multi-material extrusion printer. So the first print I did was this Easter Island head or this Moai head or whatever it is, and it's built for dual extrusion. You can see though that both materials are of a, a white or a clear or something. But here's the interesting part, because with dual extrusion, using multiple materials, you can take advantage of the properties of the individual materials. And in this case, one of the materials has this cool property where it changes color in UV light. So a UV pen, a nail lamp like this, or the sun will set it off. I'm gonna show you with a UV light because here in the Pacific Northwest, there's not a lot of light late at night. So here we go. I've got the light on. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I'm gonna bring the model over and you can see that it starts to take on a purple. And if I just dive it into the light for a couple seconds and bring it out, it's a very, very dark purple. And I thought, well, that's really cool, right? It's, it's, it's just neat. It's just neat. You can, it's almost like a 3D printing secret ink. And you can make cool custom prints with these designs in them that no one can see. And then you introduce a UV lamp or a UV light pen or, or the sunlight if you happen to live somewhere where there is some and all of the sudden your secret messages are visible. So that gave me an idea and I wanted to print something bigger. I went a little bit bigger and I took the Lapras, the low poly Lapras from Floalistic and he recently updated it for dual extrusion and I sized it up to 200% scale and I thought, well, this would look cool. So let's, let's turn on the lamp and see how it looks. Here's the Lapras, I'll dive it in here. And then there we go. That's kind of neat here. Yeah, it's got to soak up all the UV light it can. There we go. So it's not the true color Lapras, but still it's purple. <laughs> it's purple and the shell is white. And it's just cool. I don't, I don't know why I like the ability for a material to change via UV light so much, but I just, I just giggle with joy every time I do this, uh, uh, and I don't care. I don't care that you know, because I love doing it. And finally, I thought, what, what useful thing, or what, what interesting thing, more, more interesting thing could this be applied to? Because having models with secret, almost 3D printed invisible ink is cool, and having dual extrusion models where one of the materials glows in the dark or has UV reactive filament is cool, but what else could we put that to use? And I thought, well, Lauren over at Buzz Designs made these cool dual extrusion gift tags. And I remember uh, Tessa over at Sparky Face 5 featured it in her, her multi-material extrusion with single nozzle video. And I thought, well, I'm gonna give this a go on the Ultimaker in the same way. And I'm gonna see how this looks. So here it is. <laughs> That's just awesome. So as a gift tag being UV reactive, it doesn't really work well, right? Because a gift tag is usually in the house on a present or something like that. And there's not a lot of sunshine in the house, typically. So I thought, well, what if, what if this, instead of a gift tag, was something you hung from the rear view mirror of your car? And I think that would be really interesting to make something like that. You would have a, a, some sort of decoration that would hang from the rear view mirror of your car. And during the night it would be, or without sun, it would be one thing and then when there was sunshine outside, then it would come alive with different colors. And I know I've got one as a clear and one as a UV reactive purple. And I thought, well, there's no reason why we couldn't do something where there was two different colors of UV reactive filament. Or even better yet, Prusa with his four material extruder 
add-on for the Prusa i3 Mark II, you've got the, the ability to do four different materials. So this is, I don't, again, I don't know why I like this so much, but I find it very interesting, and I really think I'm going to start to play with this a bit more, and I'm going to try to get these cool, almost secret ink or invisible ink designs that then pop when, uh, when UV light is applied or when, it's, or when the filament can glow in the dark. We'll see what happens, but I don't know, it's just... It's just kind of neat. Before I end it, let me tell you about this guy. This mess of a guy. It's interesting. So with the new Cura for the Ultimaker 3, and I don't know if the, I didn't try it in the previous versions of Cura, but when you bring in two models and you want to combine them for the dual extrusion, um, Ultimaker's Cura seems to drop everything down to the build plate. And that's great unless you have a model such as the dual extrusion Lapras, and um, the, the two model parts, one of the model parts doesn't actually sit on the build plate, it's up a little bit, but because Kura drops everything down to the build plate initially, uh, in order to get something like this, you then have to reset the transformations so that everything goes back into the place it's supposed to before Kura messed it up. I didn't know that at first, and so this wonderfully flawed model was the result of that. I had model pieces that weren't in the right spot, and so when it was printing, everything was an overhang, and it looks terrible, just like this, and it's unfortunate. But I kept it, because I wanted to show you. Oh, don't worry, Lapras. I love you just like your brother. <coughs> All right, we're gonna call it good right there. This was almost a, a test of my voice because I'd been sick for so long and I just, I wanted to get my voice back. So it felt good to turn on the camera. It felt good to talk to you. I'm hoping to stream again really soon and uh, let's get back into it. Again, thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if it was awesome. Leave a comment if you have any questions. A big thanks to my patrons who support me financially at patreon.com. They're wonderful people, deserving of all the love in the world. Don't forget to hug each other more often. I love you guys, as always. High five.